And, and do you see yourself <laughs> supporting wider than just finance and MIS, or do you do that already? No, we do support wider. So um, we support all hardware um, that goes into schools. We support broadband. We support email via Office 365. We support all the Microsoft products. We support Google. Um, and we support websites. So we do WordPress sites and Joomla sites. Um, so, yeah, we do, um, you know, we'll support interactive panels. We'll support... Um, all IT in schools um, and you know and we we support some of the you know the the um, any ed tech software that goes into the curriculum that type of thing um, and so so yeah so if you've if you've, you've paid for our support contract and you've got a piece of IT in the school that's not working we will we will try and support it oh, wow. even in some cases if you haven't bought it through us but we will we will try and support um, the curriculum software and all that sort of thing. It makes it a lot easier if you have bought it through us because I know who to go and uh, shout at if it goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, Not that these things go wrong, of course. But you know, uh, we make sure that you know when you buy kit, it's got warranties on it, so that we, you know, that you're not left without the kit for um, a long time due to it having to be sent back to somewhere and then having to be vended and re-delivered and all that sort of thing. So, so we try and make it as easy as possible for schools, so that any teacher in a classroom can ring us at any time during the day and say, "I've got a problem with." piece of software on my interactive whiteboard and we will try and get them going again on it yeah so oh, amazing i think it's brilliant do you know and, yeah. and, and and we're definitely the, the you know we should definitely have a conversation offline about some other companies but that's for another all right, <laughs> all right okay thank you, thank you and I'll, I'll, well, that would work with you um <laughs> so <laughs> Oh man, I just did a plug, which is really bad. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I did. I was to that, one of these sort of things. Um, so with with um, support teams, though, <laughs> so I'm going to go back to this, but rather than go where I was. So right, regarding, okay. <laughs> regarding Eric, regarding um, sort of support teams, so there's definitely some that are stuck really close to the local authority, and obviously, then they, you know, due to um, cutbacks and so on, and the teams are reduced as well. I know there's some situations mm. over, I think it's over in the Northwest where some teams have, you know, basically just, you know, the, 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 maybe the people retired. So, you know, the support's gone externally outside of the local authority and so on. Mm. I can see that happening more and more. The more I look at the market, you can definitely see the more, the more commercially focused um, teams you can sort of see surviving. But that, that means that's reducing down that number of support teams across the country. Do you mm. think... Do you, do, you, do you see that as a trend yourself? Do you think that's what's going to happen? Um, yeah, I do see it as a trend, yeah. And I think, um, you know, we have been commercial since 1994. Yeah. Um, we have never taken, um, you know, we, we, we always say that the councillors never argue about our budget because it's always zero. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> which in some places is a nice place to be um, but we have to make the money to make sure we pay our staff and make sure we're delivering a service to schools um, and we have to make a small amount of profit which is called profit with a purpose for us which piles back into the county council mm. so so commercially yes we are on a commercial footing um, and yes we have seen local authorities say no, we're not going to do this anymore. And those support teams have set up as themselves, you know, set themselves up as support teams um, and um, gone, they, they'll support all the products, um, but the licensing is done through the company, if you know what I mean, I, I, through us because yeah. of the the, the procurement that we can do, we can buy the licenses as well. So I think they've made a decision that they'll not deal with licenses, they'll just deal with the, the support of the company. We are seeing it more and more. Um, we are seeing um, some companies that were very much, that came out of a local authority and looked after those local authority schools that are now starting to um, um, 
go across their boundaries, if you know what I mean, yeah. which we also do as well. We, we go across our boundaries. We don't just deal with North Yorkshire schools. Um, but we are starting to see that that's when, which we never saw sort of four or five years ago. Yeah. Um, so they, you know, yes, we see it as a threat. We also see it as an opportunity because if they're coming across our boundaries, we can go across there. Do you know what I mean? So, so it, I, I'm very much, you know, I see it as a positive because I think it makes us sharpen our pencils. Yeah. It makes us really look at the business we are offering and whether it's truly what schools want and need. Um, and if, you know, if, if some of these companies are taking schools away from us, then, you know, I have an open and honest conversation with the school as to why that happened. And if there's anything I can do to try and put that right, so that the next school doesn't do, then I will do. Um, sometimes it's just down to price and somebody's gone in a, a lower price yeah. just to get the work. Um, what they'll see in year two or three, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I'm seeing it as, I'm seeing it as, yeah, there's a lot, there's, there's a few of us out there um, that were, you know, we're still within North Yorkshire and we still trade under the big North Yorkshire banner. Um, and yes, we've, we've got people on our doorstep that came out of local authorities, um, but they are, yeah, I, I see them. I see them as an opportunity to make me sharpen my pencils and make us work, you know, work differently and change the service and be able to deliver what schools want. I, I'm not, I'm not seeing it as a negative. Yeah. If that I, I, makes I, sense. Yeah, no, no, it definitely does. And I think, you know, the old traditional sort of FM agreements, which ultimately, yeah. you know, when as soon as academization happened, they started yeah. breaking down anyway, you know, because obviously yeah, they did. Yeah. The local authority had to buy their mm. own licenses from Simsis's obviously but yeah but old you know well, what it did do is enable you know services like yourself to go well actually these academies mm. we can now pitch for that business because yeah. they're gonna that you know they're independent they're not under yeah. the local, local authority no yeah which, yeah which i think you're right that i think there is a lot of opportunity there for for people and, 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 you know but i still think in which case the ones who are purely local authority based in the sense of subsidized all that sort of thing I think they shrink even further. And yes, they they will do. Yeah, they will do. And it, it's a real shame because there's some really talented people yeah. within those teams. Um, you know, some people that just know schools inside out. Um, you know, and you know, it's it, it is it is a real shame because they are very talented people um, within there. Yeah, agreed. So it, it going forward then, and and seeing there'll be a fewer potentially number of support teams around the country still i still think they'd be regionalized i think there'll still be mm. uh, london I always find a bit different but there'll be like yeah. miss i think as a southwest probably you know and, and maybe somerset and so yeah where, where you, you know and that's you know that's that's one thing that we have sort of you know once they spent sleepless nights over but these super academies that are coming along the academies that seem to cover a lot of schools across different areas yeah. who want an IT support provider uh, but you know we are we are based within where we're based and for me to do a P1 to some of these or what we call a priority one which is I will be in the car and I will be with you within an hour two hours and I will sort it out within four hours um we we couldn't do it because we haven't got that satellite office or we haven't invested in that area do you know what i mean so yeah. it, it so i can do a lot of the schools but then there is some that i just cannot reach um without without a lot of investment into resources and staff down in that area then i have to look at that area and see whether you know, there are other trusts down there which are coming up for IT renewals and all that sort of thing. Um, and sometimes we have to make very hard choices of we are not going to go for this tender because 
we can't deliver. So some of the big national companies, you know, who go in and do the IT support yeah. um, across, you know, all the IT support who already have those sort of resources in place in different areas are tending to pick those up. But then we still have this, they will only do the IT hardware software and they won't touch the MIS. Yeah, no, no, oh, actually, I do know some of those companies like that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, which sometimes puts them into sort of a situation, well, well, no, I can't do the MIS. I can't do your, your finance product. I can't, I can't support that. So they... So whether they are now thinking we need to go into partnership with some of these MIS companies, I'm not sure. Because I think even though we talk about one-stop shop in MIS, I think a lot of the trusts are looking at one-stop shop for IT. I agree. I don't, I don't care what the problem is. I just need to ring somebody and get them to sort it. Whether it be the MIS system, whether it be finance system, you know, whether it be broadband, whether it be email, you know, I don't want a load of numbers to ring. Um, but the problem it gives us is the locality that we've got. And then these big super academies are just, they've got schools all over the place. So you have to look very carefully at, at where those schools are based yeah. and whether they're easy to reach for us or whether we invest in that area and put some resource in that area. Hey, you have to try and you have to go like a, do the McDonald's thing and do a franchise model. Yeah, that's it. That's what we need to do. Yeah. <laughs> so loads, loads, of loads of people everywhere yeah. basically underneath yeah. your brand yeah oh man yeah but i, I, I do think... understand that mm -hmm. oh, sorry no i you know i think gone are the days as you say where the local authority you know i seem to remember there was one there was one local authority where the the person that supported the rm integra system used to be able to bike around all his schools mm. Because the, the authority was, I think it was over Manchester somewhere, in, you know, and he used to be able to bike around all his schools, which, which was sort of like totally through us as like North Yorkshire, you know, Lots <laughs> hundreds and miles. hundreds of miles, <laughs> you know. I don't think it's crazy, yeah, biking from Skipton to... No, uh, Settle. <laughs> yeah. Even Skipton to Settle, or then Skipton to Scarborough you know oh, that's, what, that's what hell of a journey you wouldn't be able to make that <laughs> no 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 you can only just do it in a car really <laughs> yeah. oh man so yeah so that's really interesting because it also so one of the fundamental reasons why you know you know we liked we, you know in the sims world we liked um the sport teams because they were regional so you mm. can you, you personally can see this turning into where you have national companies. I know there's some IT companies that do that, but actually from, yeah. a, from a software perspective, you can also see potentially some of them becoming much more national in their approach, which means you lose some of that regional support, Pete, you know, that you regional do. support in some ways. You do. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Um, you know, but it is the way of the, the multi-academy trust. It's the, yeah. You know, they will they will be picking up schools from all sorts of areas in some cases, um, and their their reach is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so so yeah, it's um, interesting interesting to watch and to sort of work in and try and decide which areas you need to invest in is 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 um, is something you know, that uh, that you do. And I mean, a lot of the MIS systems now, because the cloud base, you should be able to do it from an office anyway. Mm. You should be able to do it from an office. Um, you, you know, this, you know, unless it sims and we've got a problem with the server, then that's, you know, that's, that's, that's a different problem. But they should be able to be done uh, within, within. But, but the other side of IT, which is, you know, the... Um, the support in the, the equipment, the laptops and all that sort of thing, where some of it has to be you get in your car and you go and sort it out, you know, that that is totally, you know, you know, we you know, we 
we we have to seriously consider how far we are willing to go. Yeah, no, true. Oh. Hmm. I think it's going to be interesting. And, and you're right, you know, Gavin Williamson has talked about bigger mats rather than yeah. more mats. Mm. So he definitely thinks yeah. there's more schools underneath each of the mats. Yeah, so, yeah, and he, you know, yeah, it, it, we seem to be calling them super mats, but I'm, I'm not sure whether that's the right term or not, but yeah. I think this is it's, it's corrected its, its terminology. You know, they are becoming mm -hmm. you know, some of these. I'm trying. You know, some of the mats are, are massive, aren't they? The yeah, you know, 